So I was I was perusing Twitter uh, the other day, and I saw a headline that kind of I, I saw it and was like, "Well, this is an intro topic." Um, the headline <laughs> is uh, "Undead Tree Stump is Being Kept Alive by Neighboring Trees." Zombie trees. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's it's in New Zealand. There is this like this group of of trees that somehow have this like symbiotic like root connection. Yeah, I okay. think I think I covered a well, plant so no, no. like this, right? Yeah. In, well, so in so one of our questions. This the, the difference is we, we that was one that was kind of it was it was more like a lot of a lot of that was like a fungus, I think, right? Or was it actually a plant? I don't remember. I think it was an actual tree, and it was like a whole forest, but it was technically one thing. Yeah, because because I know that like. Like with like with that one and with like fungi, the way it works is there's like something underground that is like the actual like real living like plant, and then like like for example like mushrooms, there's like something underground, and the mushrooms are like the flowers basically, but they're all you know one organism. But here, there's this dead tree stump that that it's it's dead in the day when the you know trees are normally you know well trees are always alive, but during the night and on rainy days, it comes back to life. It like circulates water and nut- they're assuming nutrients and stuff. Um, and it looks like what's happening is it's basically like during the day, it's being provided like baseline nutrients from the living trees. And then at night, it's providing like some nutrients to the, I guess, living tree. It's like somehow it is, despite being a just dead tree stump not actually dead how do they measure whether a tree is alive or not well so important i'm i'm happy you asked that because i'm gonna paste this <laughs> i'm gonna paste this in our chat there is a wonderful image of where they have duct taped uh heat ratio sap flow sensors onto the stump and it is absolutely hilarious <laughs> So for you guys, you can see this, um, and I'll probably like post this on Facebook. Uh, that is how you tell that it is alive. So there is actually like sap flowing through it. <laughs> it's like the million dollar tree stuff. Yeah. Like, who and it's thought just... to do this? Who's like, I think this tree is still alive. So, I'm so tape I think they, they it. found it because they could see it was producing resin. They could see it producing resin despite clearly being not a living tree because it's just a fucking stump. So that's where they, you know, from there they um, started, you know, researching it because this is not something that has really been seen before. <laughs> so how long, do you, how long do you think this festered in the mind of the biologists who first saw it before they actually decide to commit to it? Like, because the way you discover this is you're walking through the forest and you're right. like, there's a dead tree. There's a, there's a tree stump that just is, you know is not out of place, mm-hmm. and then you see it like oozing sap. I guess and you're just like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, most people would just be like, oh, that's weird, and then walk away. <laughs> Even yeah. biologists, I think, would be like, oh, that's weird, and then you have to like make it back because you you must be there for a different mission. Like you you didn't come and seek this out, so you must be there doing some other work. And then you gotta be like right. back in your tent, like lying down. Actually, and no, like they were actually just out on a hike. Huh. Yeah, so it's just like so they just happen to be by uh yeah what is complete what, complete coincidence what's the word for plant people <laughs> uh wait do you There's mean like word. people who There's are plants or people who research plants for people who research plants <laughs> okay <laughs> I know even like ants or something like <laughs> um uh I know there's a word for it I mean there's a few of them there's like arborists for trees specifically I don't and there's it's... like herbologists for herbs. And there's biologists for every generally life. Animals. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I thought there was. I thought there was like a plant equivalent of biology. Well, I'm sure there is. Like, there's like it's like the, all the fear words. Like all the scientist words are like all the fear words. Yeah, I'm like frantically skimming skimming through this uh, article, trying to see them referred to as the two <laughs> blanks or something. Damn it, authors. That's not helpful. Plant people. They call them plant people. <sighs> Researchers. That's not helpful either. <laughs> What do you call a plant researcher? <laughs> a plant scientist. Botanist. Botanist. Oh, botanist. Yeah. That's the one. I knew it began with a B. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Apparently it is possible for like trees to like graft their roots onto each other and apparently be zombies because of that. So that's cool. Hey Ben, what do you call a robot that study plants? 
a robotanist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could hear the moment where his soul died. <laughs> no, it died a long time ago. You know this. <laughs> <laughs>